Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and recently I wanted to make a visual novel in Unity. However, looking around the internet, I was confronted with a very strange fact. Pretty much every single way to do this would require hours of coding to create a system of some sorts that could handle this concept. While there was some previously existing libraries that already did the work for you, a lot of these took time and programming to implement, or in certain cases even cost money. I thought this was bizarre, because I think the prime difficulty in a VN should be writing the content, not dealing with all the programming overhead. So I decided to work on a visual novel system for Unity that is extremely simple to set up, extremely simple to work with, and is built to be writer-centric, requiring no C-sharp to use. And that's what I'll be presenting today, my little project called Encreer for Unity. So let's start off by explaining how this works. The system is made such that you can write all of your visual novel's logic inside of a simple markup language called Inky. This language is insanely simple and designed for this type of stuff, so non-programmers don't be worried. If you'd like to learn how to use Inky, I have a link below to a tutorial I made. It's very user-friendly and just don't be worried about it. Also, very quickly before anyone mentions it in the comments below, I know about Nanny Novel. I think it's cool, but I still think that a visual novel should be even more simple than that, and I think that's what Encreer pulls off. So let's set this bad boy up. Step one, in the description is a link to a repo. Click that. Step two, download the package and extract it. Step three, either drag the extracted project into an existing game folder, or using Unity Hub, click create new game and select the extracted project folder. Both will work. And boom, you're done. There is no further installation required to set it up, but now we can get into making our own VM. Let's start off with writing your VM. Simply write your logic in Inky, save the file, and drag it into Unity. Then click on the dialog manager, scroll down to the Inky.json that's created by your ink file, then select the JSON file that Unity gives you, and boom, your logic is now loaded. Simple as that. All the hard work is handed by Encreer, and you don't have to worry about it, as it really should be when writing a visual novel. Next, let's control those visuals. First, drag whatever portraits or backgrounds you wish to use into the Unity folder. Navigate to the Dialog Manager and scroll down to either Portrait Control or Backgrounds. Click on the Sprite drop-down and hit the arrow to add a sprite. Then, drag the image that you just added into the blank space, and boom, you have loaded the sprites. Now, to call these visuals in Inky is rather easy. At the top of your file, include the external background string, and then when you wish to change the name of the background, simply type background, the name of the file, and boom, you will load that background. For portraits, it's a bit easier. Use portrait, the name of the file, and you'll be able to control the portrait using a tag. You just need to use the little number symbol. Portraits are set on default to be disabled until you set one, by the way. So if you'd like to control when portraits are enabled or disabled, you can use the external show portrait bool and call it an in inky with tilde show portrait true or false. Remember that functions are case sensitive, so be sure to use all lowercase when using tags or functions. Other tags included our speaker, which sets the value of the speaker box and is done using speaker and the speaker's name. Audio and audio file name will control what file dictates the static audio sound for your game's dialogue. Also, if you'd like to add another audio file besides the ones that are already provided by Encreer, the audio is handled via the dialogue manager, and you can add audio the same way you can add backgrounds, simply with the drop down and the plus key. So that's how to use and set up Encreer. It is specifically designed to be simple to use, but if there's any confusion, feel free to leave an issue in the GitHub repo, a comment on this video, or message me on Discord. I'll do my best to help you out. Now, I'd like to demonstrate an example of Encreer in action before closing this video out with an explanation of how it was made. So here's a small demonstration of me just going through very quickly how Encreer works. Alrighty, so here's a quick demonstration of how this all works. So you're in your scene, you're doing what you do, and I've already imported some portraits. These are the ones actually that are should be in the GitHub that you automatically get just because they were there when I was um, uploading them. So we already have these basic things. We can go over to our dialogue folder. We can open Synology Community VN. That's what mine is called. And I'll actually show that screen now. We're going to take this screen where we want to use all the assets. So we are going to have this story. We're going to say your story here, uh, blah, blah. And let's set the speaker to Adware. Let's do blah blah 
we want to what what else can we do we can set the audio i don't like the audio personally i don't like the sound of it but um because i don't play video games with the sound but you can put a choice in here i'd say we want to say do you like him yes no damn why damn why uh wait no wrong one good answer and then we want to return both of those just like that we've already written two choices very simple easy syntax uh let's say we want to i don't know um what are some other things we can quickly write here to demonstrate this we've got the speaker we've got the background um i, I guess we can yeah that works so we've, we've got this file we're going to save the project we're going to close this file and then we're going to switch back over to unity and in unity it will automatically have fixed our little dot json here so when we hit play blah blah we have adler do you like ham yes good answer and then the story ends and the i actually forgot something <laughs> might be to showcase here real quick if you wanted to you could use this um this methodology to also implement you know portraits and stuff the same thing it would just be portrait and then the the name of the file which i think mine's at or and that's unironically all you would need to do you know you just write your logic in inky you hit enter and you open it in the other in in unity and boom your entire thing is running and there's no problems um, again to import new files like portraits or backgrounds you are going to need to use the dialogue manager but really the entirety of nclear focuses around three main things that's and that's all you need to edit and that's the dot json file and that's the the two arrays filled of images for your speaker and for your portraits and for your backgrounds so that is um all of that's a demonstration of it real quick it's not complicated so the demonstration is going to be long and if you have any questions again as i mentioned earlier in the video with the inky language i do have a tutorial for that that you can learn and it will work perfectly in nclear Alrighty, so let's close this video off with a quick rundown of how i made nclear so for those who care nclear was made by branching off a previously existing dialogue handler this handler, Inky Dialog System 8, was written by Trevor Mock, and it worked to connect the core functionality of Inky to Unity. However, it was centered around 2D Dialog and still had a large amount of changes that needed to be made to make it viable for a VN system. It was also not really built for just installing and running, it was more so a demonstration of how to bridge the two. But a lot of credit does really need to go to Trevor Mock in designing his Dialog handler. Here are some differences that Anchor has to System 8. Encure supports six options versus the three limit option of System 8. Encure has smaller base text, which allows it to have longer dialogue because it's a visual novel and it needs to have more space. Encure has a new font tag granting Inky writers the ability to control the font if they so want. Encure has specific methods built in for controlling the background of a scene. Encure made loading portraits far easier and no longer bases it on a complex animation system that was not beginner friendly and required code and animation loops to use. And Creer gave Inky writers the ability to handle the portrait, and that is disabling and enabling it. And finally, and Creer is designed to be quickly installed and set up, not requiring any work in Unity or C Sharp to create the desired result, as opposed to, as I already said, System 8, which was meant to work alongside with Unity and C Sharp. I hope you all are happy with the and Creer system and what it offers. But that's all I've got for this video. Hope you all enjoy, and if you have any feedback, as I ever mentioned, I'd love to hear it in the comments or in the other places you can reach me. I'll be making a visual novel of my own using NCREER, and most likely updating the system to be more functional and have more abilities as I develop that visual novel. So stay tuned for that. Until then, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all, well, next time.